Let's start trading with the Euro and Great British Pound pair. There is a one important rule for this strategy. A reminder that in this strategy we use two indicators. Ideally, these indicators should be used on a five minute time frame. Greetings, I'm Mary and I'm here to guide you through the world of trading. Today I've got an exciting video lined up, as usual, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with our latest updates. Over in my Telegram channel I provide precise signals and together we can work on boosting your earnings. You can locate the link to the Telegram channel in the description to this video. As always, I'll kick things off by showcasing real-world examples before diving into the theory behind them. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the content. It's a well-known fact that trading binary options involves dealing with various assets. I suggest using the Euro and Great British Pound currency pair for the Wells MACD strategy, and I can explain why. The primary reason for this choice is that this pair is the most liquid and consistently active compared to others in the currency markets. For traders, this ensures round-the-clock availability and abundance of signals. Let's start trading with the Euro and Great British Pound pair. I begin with the Euro to British Pound not just because I like it, but because currency pairs with the Euro have the highest liquidity. They trade more actively than other currency pairs. I've already entered the trade for a decrease, and now let me explain why I did that. First of all, the bars on the MACD indicator are pointing down, and the parabolic SER has appeared above the current candle. These two factors are a clear signal to open a downward trade. Both MACD and parabolic SER indicate that the price is steadily decreasing. There is a one important rule for this strategy. Ideally, you should trade the Euro and USD pair, uh, but it if there is no opportunity on Euro and USD, you should look for it on any currency pair with the Euro or Dollar, such as USD and Czech Franc, Euro and Japanese Yen, USD and Japanese Yen, and so on. I'll repeat that pairs with the Euro and Dollar are the most liquid and fairly predictable, making this strategy work best on them. A reminder that in this strategy we use two indicators. The first one is MACD. Although traders sometimes call it MACD, it's a matter of personal preference. The second indicator is parabolic SER. This indicator gives us signals about the current trend and its reversal, indicated by green and red dots. For convenience, I use blue dots because I prefer them. But on some chart analysis platforms, they mm, default to green and red. SER shows trend reversal and the MACD indicator gives us an idea of the signal strength. It appears as red bars, which can be below or above zero. Ideally, these indicators should be used on a 5-minute time frame, but in some situations, like right now, I use a 1-minute time frame. The market is volatile and moving well, so 1 minute is enough. Signals for this strategy are straightforward. You should buy, for example, go on an increase when a bearish downtrend changes to a bullish uptrend. Firstly, parabolic SER starts showing green dots below the candlesticks on the chart, indicating that the price has stopped falling and started rising. Secondly, the MACD indicator should begin drawing bars above the zero line, and the higher the better. Now, for a sell signal, which means going for a decrease, is the complete opposite. You should open a downward trade when parabolic SER displays red dots or dots of a different color above the current candlesticks, and MACD indicator should be drawing bars below the zero line. It's all quite simple. The key is not to get confused about the SAR dots being above the chart for selling and below the chart for buying. There are 20 seconds left in the trade and I need to tell you about the expiration. Ideally, for this strategy, you should enter for three candles. So if you're using a one minute time frame, it's for three minutes. If you're using a five minute time frame, it's for 15 minutes and so on. All right, the trade closed confidently with a profit. As you can see, the strategy is straightforward and performs well in trading. So the next step I propose to explore is the indicators for binary options. Right now you'll understand why the strategy is called Wells MACD. For this strategy, as you already understand, 
we will need indicators, MACD and parabolic SAR. The abbreviation MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence, which means Convergence Divergence of Moving Averages. This indicator allows traders to both determine the strengths of the trend and receive various signals for trading actions. The indicator was developed in the 1970s by Gerald Apple, who also defined its optimal settings. How MACD indicator works. MACD shows the strengths of the trend and indicates changes in trend direction. How does it allow us to do that? Uh, in an uptrend, the current price is higher than the average price of a selected period of time. In downtrend, it's the opposite. The current price is lower than, the, uh, than its averaged value over a certain time frame. The dynamics of average price values can be displayed on a chart as a line. This line is called a moving average. In an uptrend, the price chart goes above the moving average, and in downtrend, it goes below. The intersection of the price chart with the moving average can signify a trend change. So, all a trader needs to do is watch when the price crosses the moving average line and buy or sell securities dependent on the direction of the crossover. This is the basis of the moving average trading strategy. MACD is categorized as an oscillator since its chart is displayed on a separate scale from the price chart. The MACD chart consists of three main elements, the main line, the signal line, and the histogram. Parabolic SAR indicator. This is an effective indicator used to determine trend reversal points and set stop orders. This indicator, created in 1976, is also known as the parabolic, which means stop and reversal. Its use allows for predicting the market state with maximum accuracy before a sharp trend reversal. The author of this indicator is renowned financier Wells Wilder, who described it in his book New Concepts of Technical Trading Systems. The indicator is recommended to be used only in presence of a clearly defined trend. During flat periods, it generates an excessive number of false signals. The indicator is represented by a curve of parabolic shape formed from points, each of which is calculated based on the value of the corresponding candle. When discussing the process of determining these points, it's important to mention concepts like the acceleration factor and the starting point. The starting point represents the upper extreme in an uptrend and the lower extreme in a downtrend. Parabolic SAR is an indicative price that essentially acts as a boundary of the trend, beyond which the actual price cannot go. As soon as the boundary is breached, the system automatically determines a change in the current trend to the opposite. Parabolic SAR for the next day equals the current SAR plus or minus the acceleration factor multiplied by the difference between the last extreme and the current parabolic SAR. Addition is used in an uptrend and subtraction is used in a downtrend. Now, it's a good time to buy. In a downtrend, the curve is at the top and decreasing. During this period, you can open a sell position. When the price chart intersects with the parabola, points begin to form on the opposite side. This indicates a trend reversal or correction. If the reversal is confirmed, price extremes and SAR acquire new values and ca calculations are done anew. The Wells MACD strategy, that's where the name comes from. Remember, we buy a buy option when the bearish trend changes to bullish. Parabolic SAR should show the first green dots. We enter the trade when we're no more than two points for an increase. The MACD indicator should show red bars above the zero line. We buy a sell option when parabolic SAR shows the first red dots. We enter the trade when there are no more than two points for a decrease. The MACD indicator should show red bars below zero line. I'm delighted to see new subscriptions to this channel, so please make me happy. And I'd like to remind you, if you want to trade alongside me, I wait for your subscription to my Telegram. The link is in the description. See you next time.